So the best coin to stack might not actually stack well, literally. Have we talked about crooked buffaloes? Maybe this will help. Most of the time, your 24 karat gold coins are gonna hang out in plastic capsules. But if a modern bullion coin isn't perfect, it just really shouldn't be a big deal to begin with. And that's really how I operated for probably about a decade. And then to a certain extent, I suppose that's how I operate today. But the gold buffalo from the United States Mint is a little bit of an odd case. This is a beautiful coin. It's well known. It's easy to sell. And it carries a higher premium because of it. And one of the things that I like about the coin is that the rough hewn texture it forgives or it maybe even hides the dings, the scratches. I think let's get a better view of that texture. But for an expensive coin like the Buffalo and from an established mint like the U.S. Mint, you would expect consistency. So an uneven rim like I'm trying to show here is not intentional. It's not consistent. Finning is not intentional or consistent. And of the 20 odd Buffaloes that I have, Probably half of them have some kind of issue related to uneven stamping. So I grabbed a few with the most noticeable issues. This is the second 2021 that I got last year. And it has a little bit of everything. It has the uneven rim that I was talking about. You can see it here. It also has some finning. And then there are even some areas on the rim that look like they've been shaved. And that's inadvertent, of course. We can see it here on the edge. Hopefully this shows up on camera. You see it on both the right and the left sides. Now this is one that could have gone back to the vendor. And I did get in touch with them. They really didn't offer me much. Don't worry, this isn't a revenge video. I'm not making this out the vendor. But this was one of three. I think I'm done buying from them. I'll come back to that part though. This is not a new issue. I have a 2010 here and you can see that this coin has similar issues with rim depth. That's again uneven. It also has a few slight dings. This one maybe had some hard living. This one came from a local dealer and if you've ever seen a local shop owner handle standard bullion then probably shouldn't really surprise you to discover that that coin is not perfect. I don't know if they did it. I don't know if the original owner did it. It might have even been me. I've definitely had it out a few times. I knew what I was getting when I bought that coin, though it was previously loved. Now, a really important point that I should make here is that all of these coins come in at one troy ounce. This is not a problem with metal content. They've all been weighed. I just don't want to film me weighing a bunch of coins. Now, I know from the comments that these minor imperfections in the buffaloes bother some of you. And you do have options. Aptmex sells these first strike coins in Mint Direct, Tamper Evident packaging. You're going to spend more, though. You're going to spend $25 more to buy this coin at Aptmex over that other vendor that I was not naming. And then you'll spend another $15 for the first strike. And normally there's just no way that I'm gonna spend $40 more in the hopes that it's a little bit nicer than a typical gold buffalo, but this is for science. I teased this out on Instagram and a few of you asked if I was gonna break it out of the Mint Direct packaging. And of course I'm going to, it was just a matter of getting it on camera. Before we cut it out though, I think we compare the buffalo to a few other coins. And if we were going to try to give the US Mint a chance to redeem itself, I think we'd grab an eagle. I have just never seen an issue with this coin and I think maybe it has something to do with the fact that the American gold eagle has a harder alloy. I wonder if that's not part of the issue with the buffaloes, like maybe the tolerance on the press isn't set for the softer 24 karat coins and then that leads to an uneven stamping. Now here's another. Eagles are very consistent, they're very sharp. I guess this is what you'd expect from a well-known, well-respected, prolific mint. Now, you can debate the pros and cons of 22 karat gold. You can also debate the design, maybe the extra premium on eagles, but I don't think that you can debate the quality. So how about the Britannia? This is another coin that seems to be popular on YouTube. 
You can't really debate the technical mastery of this coin. You're definitely not going to see an uneven rim, but I have noticed issues with the proof finish on Britannia's robes. It just doesn't have an even shine. Now, to be fair, that's going off of a sample size of two. And also, the new security features on the 2021 Britannia really put it in a league of its own. And the issue with the finish, that's not really a knock against the Royal Mint as much as it's just a comment on standard bullion. It, it can't all be perfect. Unless, of course, it comes from the Perth Mint. In which case, I have never seen a single issue. These coins are just all incredible. And I guess it's possible that kangaroos aren't as consistent as the swans, but if that's the case, I've never heard of it. I don't know if it's QA or just that they get it right the first time, but there are no stamping issues, there are no finish issues, and because they ship in individual capsules, they just don't show up at the door with signs of that hard living that fell on a few of my buffaloes. I know you're all waiting to see if I accidentally destroy that buffalo by cutting into it, but before we get there, let me just show two more coins to set this up. We are taking a calculated risk here by getting this out of the capsule, but I'm going to keep my grubby fingers off of it. This, of course, is the 2021 High Relief Liberty from the U.S. Mint. It's a collectible coin with a 50% premium, so there's really no way the Mint would mess this one up, right? In a quick pass, looks like it's pretty good. The finish on this coin is perfect. You can't see any finning. I'll look at it from the side a little bit. There isn't a single flaw if you were to look at this coin straight on at a little bit of an angle. But if we start to look a little bit more closely at the side, we will again see that there's just a little bit of an uneven rim. Now, this is not a coin that you would take out of the capsule unless you're just asking for trouble or you have a YouTube channel. Let me put it down. If you're surprised, though, to learn that there's a little bit of an issue on a limited release coin that's sold directly through the mint, well, you're in good company. Okay, so how about proof buffaloes? As you probably guessed, proof buffaloes don't have the issue. Now, I don't know if it's because they're struck twice or just because of the whole process, but I've never seen, I've never heard of an issue with a proof buffalo. So we'll give that one to the Mint. Now, you definitely pay more if you buy a proof from the Mint, and maybe that's part of the wild premium, but I got mine from a local shop. I paid the exact same as I would have for that 2010 that I showed earlier. Okay, I think the only thing left to do is to break this 2022 First Strike Buffalo out of its packaging. I feel like we've taken enough risks in this one, though, so I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, I think we got it. Now, if you're wondering what the first strike, ah, what the first strike designation is, I have a feeling this is going to look a little bit more violent on camera than it actually is. Hold on one second. Okay, the first strike designation, that means that the coin is struck in the first 30 days of the mint's release. And I think that some of the online dealers have these mint direct options throughout the year. It's not something to pay a whole lot of attention to, but they don't seem very hard to get a hold of. So how is the quality? Was it worth the extra $40? Well, so far this looks really good. I see a little bit of residue that was probably from the plastic that was holding it in that fixed position, but that'll come off. It, it really, it does look pretty perfect. Now, I'm no coin grader, but I have to imagine that this would be an easy MS-70, or I guess a first strike MS-70. Not that I really care about that, but you might. I imagine there will be at least one person complaining that I'm throwing away value since slabbed and graded coins with that first strike designation do go for more, but this is bullion, and I just can't be convinced that there is any value to grading standard gold coins. Now, if you're buying one for a special occasion or as a gift, it might be worth that extra $40. I think that it probably would be to me. Now, I don't really get worked up about minor flaws, but I always assume that there's a decent chance that the buffalo that I get is going to be jacked up a little bit one way or another if I order online. This just seems like a good way to ensure that you get a good one. So, good surprise here. I now have a perfect 
BU Buffalo, at least if I don't drop it before I get it in a capsule. Now, hopefully that helped a few people out who might have been on the fence on whether it was worth burning some extra cash for. That's something that I'm not normally for. This won't be something I do regularly, but it is a little bit comical to look at this stack of buffaloes. I'm almost afraid to move it. It looks like it could tip over if I look at it wrong. This is exaggerated, of course. This is, what, 15 or 16 buffaloes outside of their capsules stacked up. It's not something you notice when you have one or two, but when you do start to stack them up, I guess it definitely does begin to lean. And maybe a future video is just seeing how many we can stack up before the whole thing topples, but... I'm not really sure how well that would go over. There's probably only so far you can take that whole YouTube excuse. Let's call it good there. Let us know what you think. The extra premium for a first strike might not be worth it to you, but I wonder if you care at all about the precision of the buffaloes. To me, it's just kind of part of the character of the coin. It's definitely not a surprise when one is a little bit off, but let us know what you think. And while you're there, hit the like button. That makes all the extra time needed to take these coins out of their capsules worth it. It also makes the risk of dropping them worth it, I suppose. It definitely helps the channel grow, though, so I appreciate it. Also, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more. And if you're still here, thank you again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.